even in New Zealand, I think like we have our own challenges. And I'm just reflecting on one of our recent climate marches just before COVID. And one of the big things that was talked about was the underrepresentation of our indigenous people, our indigenous Māori and indigenous Pacifica. Um, and whereas we, there was a certain caricature of the main people who were campaigning, um, and that was well, middle-class um, Europeans. And so it was, a, it, we see even that that sort of um, rift of, of inequity playing even in our daily marches. I think that instead of running away from, you know, this, I guess, like these, the, the issue that's right in front of us, which is representation and actual creating of space, what we, what we really need to do is to constantly think, can I, can I give this space to someone who deserves it more? Or, um, does this space, uh, would, would, would giving it to someone, for example, who are indigenous or a person of color or black, would it amplify the impact much more than if I was speaking? Um, and I think that that's, that's something I've had to learn personally. Uh, but it's, it's about noticing that everything in our world is, in a sense, um, governed by power. And it's about noticing your power that you have, your influence that you have, um, and also finding ways to give space to uplift others um, and provide, empower them, give them the strength, um, because everyone has their unique voices. Um, they don't need us to speak for them. They just need the space. And, you know, I think it's about basically we need to understand that we have um, certain influence over certain spaces. And if we can bring one person, two people along the journey, I think that that's a big win.